Hey there, welcome back. I've got another review for you. This one is a smaller set. It costs 15 bucks. This is called Roses, or they're called Roses. It's it's a single set, comes with two. And this is kind of like a cheaper alternative in the Botanical Collection, I believe it's called, yeah. You can either get the $60 Big Rose Bouquet or you can get these individually for 15 bucks a piece, which I think is a good deal. I think the bigger set obviously gives you probably more pieces, more value, but this is good because it's cheaper. It's not as expensive. Um, I decided to just get the two. I did get a vase as well. I'll show that a little bit later. But yeah, this is a, it's a nice little set. It's not too like big of a build. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to build, depending on your skill level, of course. Since this comes with no minifigs, that I just go with the build itself. And in this case, there's two of them. They're really the, the same, except for the bent stem of this rose. We'll start with this one first, because I like it better. It's really lovely. These are actually built on wheel pieces. So if you can kind of tell right here, these dark green leaves, it's really just built with a lot of Technic parts. And these rose petals are actually just car hoods <laughs> in red. And it's really clever. And you've got these cockpit pieces as well for the stem. These can spin if you want. That's really the only feature that these have. And they just look beautiful. This red color is very nice to look at. Obviously, because this is Lego and not a real rose, these won't die on you. Win for the... That's a big win. So they won't die. Um, have some other... They do have some other moving parts, such as these um, hinges. They don't do anything. These are just really meant to look amazing, and they do, and they're really fun to build, for sure. I'll give you a sneak peek on how they're built. You really just... They, they just kind of clap. You have all these clip pieces, and they clap around each other to form a big rose. And it's kind of cheating a little bit, but it does look very nice, the finished product. You've got these leaf clip parts um on the sides i don't know the names of these parts i'm just guessing you've got the the middle um part right there i don't know the, the technical terms for these i'm just gonna call them whatever you got these spikes on the on the underside and this the stem is actually made from these technic parts you can see it's honestly really clever and they're pretty much hand like you can see my hand here you can hold it pretty good, pretty easily, and they look really nice in the hand. Um, pretty much life size, maybe a little bit smaller or maybe a little bit shorter than a real rose, but they do look very, very, very nice. I think the colors really pop with this set because you got this bright red, this bright green, then you got dark green and a little bit of black. Again, this. These, the stem will spin. You can angle them however you like. Um, depends on what you want to do. Again, lots of Technic parts. A lot of Technic with this. Um, but yeah, again, it's pretty much the same build. You're building around a circle. You've got this. It's kind of... It looks weird like this because you're opening it. But you can angle it however you like. The different panels and stuff. And... It's it's a really fun build. It's something different. You've got a couple of stacked um, Technic wheels. You just build around that. And you just close it up. And it just... it They look very beautiful. For being kind of a simple build. Um, they, they're just really satisfying, I think. I'm going to get my vase really quick. So I can show you how you could set yours up if you want. So I've got a clear vase. I got this at a uh, thrift shop. Hopefully I can get you up here. So here's the vase. It's pretty, in my opinion, very nice. You can take that. I'll put you up here so you can see. Essentially, what you could do is you could get a short vase, a long vase, whatever you want. But essentially, you could take these, just put it in like that. And that's how they could look. You know, something like that. If you wanted to do that, you could. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, 
I just thought that was the best for my shelf because these are actually on the bottom of my shelf. Not because it's a bad set, just because it's a tall, it becomes a much taller thing once you have the um, the vase in there. So yeah, um, they're very tall. If I can show you a minifig, it's pretty, I mean, it's obviously a lot bigger than a minifig, but I just wanted to give you a comparison just in case you were curious. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, honestly, it's just a pair of lovely builds. That's what I'd say. And that's really why I wanted it, because I wanted something that wasn't licensed. I have a few other sets, like the Bonsai Tree, for instance, that's not a licensed set. And maybe one or two more. Actually, those might be only two. But yeah, I, li I love the licensed stuff, but this is different. It's definitely the, uh, the most realistic, well, I'd say the second most realistic set that I have, because it's not based on anything uh, fantastical. <laughs> It's based on a real rose, so of course it's going to look like that. I think probably the, mo the more roses you get, the more beautiful it'll be. But again, it's up to you if you want to spend the 60 to get the bouquet. Um, I thought about it, but I'm like, no, I'm probably just going to get the two, and that's about it. Because I, I love the look of roses. They smell, they smell great. And, I mean, I don't have to take care of these. They just sit there and they look great. And that's all that matters to me. And I like the colors, too. And a lot of useful parts, too. Like, there's this part in particular. This part here. This one. If you can see, it's this part here. And it's the one that holds the, the two green stems. It's a very useful piece. There's a lot of useful parts, such as the Technic wheels. All of these, you know, Technic rods. And the wheel parts and all these red pieces are just really gorgeous. I think because the red they chose that's probably what gives them the appeal but um i mean there's not really much that i don't like about it in fact there's nothing i don't like about the well actually that's not true there's one thing i don't like about these and it's the fact that this te this same piece that i just praised this black piece is super loose i push down the piece as much as possible but it really wants to go back to being loose. I really don't like that. I wish this was like stiffer friction, tighter friction. I don't know why. I, I don't think I built it wrong, but I just, I don't know. I don't like that those are loose and it's the same on the other one. Super loose connection. I don't like that, but it's not terrible. It's just, I don't know. That's the one thing I could live without. I probably would want tighter friction. So they don't spin around. But yeah, that's that's really all I have to say. It's a great set. I would highly recommend it. Um, especially if you're on a budget and you want a, a, like a nice, cute, lovely build. Um, a nice, quick build as well. It's not too, you know, too hard to build. It's pretty fun. Highly recommend these two. Um, and yeah, it, again, it's up to you if you want to go bigger or smaller. But that's it for the roses. Let me know what you think. Do you like these or do you not? What do you think of the botanical collection overall? And would you recommend I get another flower set in the future? Let me know. Also, leave me a comment. Just, I'd like to read those. Big fan of that. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next review. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I showed you everything you wanted to see. Until next time, take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you later.